deep beats and a succulent motion. Like a diamond catching the height when I close my eyes. Spellbinding with my soul, it touched me. It touched me more than once. Where the river builds, the gentle waves of fruity moments. Yes, it is my river. Yes, it is my river, my Luit, my Luit, so called Brahmaputra, and it flows. And it flows forever and ever. Putra had witnessed many ups and downs of the dynasty. Rulers and their legacies, the grace of the river helped to evolve and developing powerful kingdoms of Bhaskar Barman. The kingdom of Koch, Ahoms, Sutias and Kacharis dotted their very presence on the bank of the river only. The Brahmaputra nourished. On the other hand, its tributaries helped in demarcating their territories. The entire region of Brahmaputra Valley spreading from Sadia to Dhuburi has seen the growth and development of both rural and urban settlements. The Brahmaputra River is the symbol of harmony, peace and tranquility. The Great River has many forms and many names as well. The Boros call it Bhulambhutur. The Yahum, it is now thou feed. In dairy dialect, it's Luitao, and in Missing, it's Abang, means father. The ancient name of Prajyotishpur is a Sanskrit word meaning the city of Eastern astrology. The booming city by the bank of River Brahmaputra is Guwahati. But Guwahati is a recent name, but earlier it was known as Pragjutishpur or Pragjutishpura. And this name was given by then King Bhaskar Burman during the uh, reign of Burman dynasty. So why Pragjutishpura? Because it is believed that Pragjutishpur was an eternal place or a place of eternal light. That's why it's got a name Pragjutishpur a city of eternal light or the city of astrology. That's why the name was given Pragjyotishpura. And now look at the city. The complete scenario has changed. Now it's one of the fastest great cities of India. Also, adding to the history, Hyun Sang, a Chinese scholar and a traveler, visited Pragjyotishpur and met King Bhaskar Verman. And he stayed here for months and stated that the atmosphere and the people here are very gentle. And that's when he started writing about Pragjyotishpur and the scholars slowly and steadily started visiting Pragjyotishpur. According to Kalikapur, 
Brahma, the creator of universe as per Hindu mythology, stayed here and created the stars. It was the reason the city is called Pragjotishpur. The Navagraha temple at Chitrasal Hill was also a center for the studies of astrology. Well, viewers, we were at the very popular and pious temple of Guwahati, that is Navagraha. That means nine planets. And this temple is built by then Ahum King, uh, Rajesh Rashinga. So uh, it's, uh, it was built around 752. Yeah. 752 was a year when this temple was built by the, uh, by the Ahum King, Rajesh Rashinga. Ancient temple on the hill originally built to learn Hindu astronomy is a nine major celestial body. Where the name itself says Navagraha. Navagraha means nine planet. And the temple contains nine falling emblems of Lord Shiva, uh, covered with nine different clothes to uh, worship uh, the sacred nine planetary goddesses. Absolutely correct. So nine is Navagraha, it's planet. From the different stone inscriptions of the 5th and the 7th century AD revealed that the city of present-day Guwahati was located on the southern side. The rock and the copper inscriptions from Burman period also explained that the Kamakya temple was at the center of the ancient city. Towards the west of the Brahmaputra Valley, there are townships with archaeological importance. Gualpara region, the western part of Kamrupa Kingdom, had witnessed a vast cultural progress through the development of art, architecture and sculptures with the regional characteristics. The archaeological pieces of evidence of Sri Sri Sujapaha ruins situated at Dasabhuja Devasthan in Gualpara link them to the 9th century. There are a number of Shivalingas, rock cut images and stone inscriptions on the site. These ruins of temples are of Hindu god and goddesses. Well, it is believed to be more than thousand years of uh, age. These are old, really old enough. Okay. And this entire place is uh, taken care of by ASI, that is Archaeological Site of India. Let me tell you one thing, ladies and gentlemen. We are at Hujja Pahar. Hujja means sun, and Pahar means a hillock or hill. You can see a small hill by by our side. And why this Hujja Pahar? Because there are believed to be more than. 99,999 Shivalingas and again it is believed it is it is widely believed by the localites here that uh, Vyas, Veda Vyas once ordered to build 99,999 Shivalingas right after Kasi and call it the second Kasi well Kasi has one leg this this mountain has 99,999 Shivalingas it is one of the very pious and devoted place which is only 12 kilometers away from the Gualpara town and trust me this is beautiful Exactly, and at Surya Pahar, there you can see a major confluence between three different religions that is right. Jainism, Buddhism, and Hinduism. And there are over a total of 135 acres of land. Uh, you know, you will see different sculptures, Hindu deities, and a rock shelters over here. Absolutely true. Now, the ruins which are behind us, even I cannot figure out how old they are. So, this is a must visit place whenever you come to Goalpara. Hills like Yogi Gopa and Panchatran 
at Dhubri, there exists the Nitai Dhubuni Ghat. It is a big slab of stone lying by the river bank. This point is the junctions of two rivers, the Brahmaputra and the Gadadhar River. According to mythological story of Beula Lakhindar is associated with this site. According to the myth, Beula, the wife of Lakhindar, has bought her dead husband alive from heaven through the riverway. This dance form is known as Deodhani dance. It is well known that Assam is the home of various tribes, cultures, folk dances and music. One such folk dances of Assam is the famous Deodhani dance. The Doran districts reflects this folk dance form in a popular and significant manner. This dance can be performed as solo or group of three to four females on the occasion of the worship of Devi Manasa, the snake goddess or Maroi. In this dance, the songs sung by the Ojapali are known as Sukhnamni. This dance is related with a very famous folk tale of Assam based on Beula and Lakhinda. Characters from Padmapuran. In this dance, the dancer wears Mekhela made of Muga, traditional dress of Assam with red blouse and different traditional pieces of jewelry and leaves their hair open. Also they take swords and shields displaying a virile war dance during the performance. There is another legend associated with the famous Netai Dhubuni Ghat. Sources claim that this stone of Netai Dhubuni Ghat of Dhubri is still lying in the same position as it was in the earlier dates. It is said by the people that a British officer tried to ruin the stone but failed in his attempt. During his expedition, blood exuded out of it. So that Panch Pir Darga, which you can see behind me, and it has a very interesting story and which becomes a history. Well, it is said during the uh, end of uh, a six, uh, 15th century and the starting of 16th century, Aurangzeb ordered his general and the captain, uh, Ram Singh, and his troop to attack Assam. But Ram Singh was, quite, uh, was not very sure to come alone to Assam, so he requested Aurangzeb that he want at least a few people who knows some kind of magic and who are very pious people because it is believed that Assam is a land of magic that time. So he was quite scared to come alone. So he requested Aranjib and Aranjib granted his request and sent five peas and take Bahadur Sahib along with him. And after that, they built the first ever, I would say, like the five peas together, build this Mazar here, right in front of the Brahm Putra. And take Bahadur Sahib built the first Gurudwara here in Assam, in Dhuburi. Here in Dhuburi, the Gurudwara Teg Bahadur, also known as Damdama Sahib, is also situated. The ninth Guru of the six, Guru Teg Bahadur, established the Gurudwara during the 17th century. Since then, this is a place of pilgrimage for the followers of Sikhism. In 1505 AD, the two magnanimous personalities, Guru Nanak and Sri Sankardeva, met each other at this place. In ancient literary works like Bhagavad Puran, Kalika Puran, and the Vishnu Puran, all had mentioned Prajitishpur as a hard-to-reach city as well as protected by the hills. Vaishnavism it is the river that witnessed the enlightenment of this valley through the teachings of Mahapurush Sri Sri Sankadeva, born in 1449 at Bordua. Mahapurush Sankadeva enriched and 
illumined the tribes and communities with ek saran naam dharma Mahapurush Sankadeva was a performer as well as a reformer. The great guru gave a whole new dimension to the Assamese life and culture through his spirituality. Well, viewers, we are at Padbao Kihotra, one of the renowned and very pious places here in Borpeta, established by Mohapuru Srimanta Sankadev. It is said that he was stayed here for 18 years and 6 months, near about 19 years, with his family, with his wife, and finally left Assam and went to Koch Bihar. Now, the most important thing about this place, as we all know, this place has a very important history. Shankareva left this place via waterways because there were hardly any roadways that time. Right? Yeah. And when it comes to the rich culture here, Bhortal Nritya, was said to be developed by Norohari Burha Bhakot, who was a well-known satya artist. And it is one of the most famous uh, dance forms here in Borpeta. In Fagin Assam. Yeah, and it is said that it was uh, developed by the other classical dance forms of the state. And how can we forget about Holi Git, uh, that is especially performed in the time of Holi to celebrate colors. It, it is such mesmerizing in their own way that mm. it would make your heartbeat sink with the faster beats of dholes and coals. Absolutely true. So Janet has already pumped me up in, uh, completely inside. So I cannot wait uh, to witness and watch these beautiful dance forms. Chill you. Along with the Mahapurusha and his great disciple Mother Deva, there were several others who contributed to the growth and development of neo Vaishnavite religion of Assam. Borpeta is commonly known for this beautiful Borpeta Sutra. In 1583 AD, that is like 500 years back, Sri Sri Madhav Dev established the Sutra. And after the demise of Sri Srimanta Shankar Dev, as a disciple to uphold the responsibility, he left this place and established many satras and to propagate a Vaishnavite religion. Absolutely true. And viewers, let me tell you one more thing. Borpeta is, as she already mentioned, is very popular for this Khotra, which is called Borpeta Khotra. And also, apart from the uh, information which Janet gave, there are many uh, reasons why people love to visit this, apart from being a pious place. Here, two festivals are celebrated widely. <laughs> Oh, my God. 
Tantricism was on its heights before the introduction of Vaishnavism. The valley was once a center of Tantricism. The auspicious presence of the Mahapurush has established the religious sentiment of the people. The great Assamese religious guru has guided the people through his bhakti movement. The movement for the first time in the region included the people of the valley irrespective of their caste and class. It was not only the Ahum royals that were impressed by the Vaishnavism. Another powerful king, Naranayana, himself adopted Vaishnavism after his meeting with Shankadev. He also composed some religious songs known as Ketana to educate the common people. Mahapurush is governing the socio-religious lives of the people of Assam till today. Satras are one of the crucial institutions evolved on the bank of the river that re-energize the sense of belongingness with divine attachments in the valley. After the demise of Sri Sri Sankadeva, his followers set up satras and monasteries in different parts of Assam. The satras had a great influence upon the Ahom kings. Namgar is the smallest and most basic units of the new Vaishnavite religion in Assam. It is the symbol of cooperation, peace, harmony and tranquility. All-time great Assamese saint, three three unique prayer halls to the Assamese society. Ankya Bhavna The history of Assamese drama begins in the early 16th century with the plays of Srimanta Shankadeva. These plays are popularly known as Ankya Nats and its staging is known as Bhavna. The bhavana is a traditional form of entertainment. Onkya means one act and nat means drama. Therefore, onkya nat simply means one act play. These plays were meant for spreading religious and social messages. The history of Brahmaputra, the people of Assam history, the society and culture which evolved thousands of years ago is still continuing. Like the Brahmaputra which has seen both continuity and changes over the ages. The culture and society of Assam too have experienced the same. The destinies of both are linked with one another.